And we are back. Thank you all for your patience during our midstream intermission. I am Tone and we are playing Unexplored 2. A lovely Saturday stream. And we are progressing through the game rapidly. We've explored a large chunk of the continent at this point. Pretty much the whole west side except for this really scary area. Which we're getting pretty buff, so I'm ready to take on some of these hard areas. And we've been learning and doing some science. I'd say some of the things we've seen today have been downright revelatory. Between that awesome magic lake and now this spirit forge. The spirit forge just like opened up like a whole new world of mechanics and possibilities in the in this game. So very cool stuff. Oh my god, we have a lot of spirit pearls. Hey, false lobster, welcome back. I hope your drink is topped off. I'm treating you well. So it would seem that when you get to a spirit forge, it is worth going into all of your items just to get the proto potions. But I don't want to do that. I do want to go in to unlock one more ring fully so that we can get a plus three haste ring and see what that does. What do I have? Charisma? Do we know what sigil charisma is yet? We should check that too. You randomly bought a beer in the checkout and it ended up being an 8.6 ABV, ABV, so you're feeling A-OK. -okay. <laughs> that is a fun surprise. It's fun when you, you have something that's like unassumingly strong and then you look at it like halfway through and you're like, oh god. <laughs> I could take uh, the sigil out of this ring of protection and put it into my other ring of protection and see what plus three does in these ring of shielding. Because... I think we're going to always want the ferociousness. Although having two rings of shielding would be pretty cool if we just wanted to like run through an area at some point. Um, but let's, we're just going to race through and unlock this ring. We're going to do a, a Spirit Forge speed run here. Because I just want to unlock this. We don't have to, to min-max it. Do I have the ring of haste on right now? Why am I so fast? Ooh. Okay. I think there's a bug where you enchant a ring, even if it's not equipped, you get the benefit. Because when I was enchanting the ring of ferociousness in my inventory, it kept saying, like, whatever the previous effect was. Because it, it goes... Ferocious, strong, ferocious strength or something, or you get then you get both. I kept saying ferocious removed and strength removed. I, we have haste right now from that ring, even though we shouldn't. Oh my god, look how fast we are with just one level of haste. Yeah, it's in the forge. Unless we're somehow empowered by whatever's in the forge, which would be cool. <laughs> this is too much fun. <laughs> oh. It's like hit and run. Let's go. Out of my way. Just run laps around, you fools. This really is a speed run. Can't hit me. Oh 
we gotta get some spirit pearls. Dude, I almost ran off the edge. <laughs> like drifting over here. Out of my way. level. I, I'm not even like keeping track. I don't know how deep these things go. This is the third floor. But we can... It seemed like we could only put three things in. Is there like a fourth? Like slot? Like can I keep upgrading these things? I don't... I gotta figure out how this works. Floating spirit pearl? Oh, no, it was not floating. Dude, these rings are so powerful. That ring of shielding is like carrying me. I love an item that can mitigate some sloppy play. It doesn't imply that, like, you're not skilled and you're, like, playing sloppy. Like, all that has to really mean is that, like, you just want to play quickly, which will be, like, always be a little sloppy. And there's nothing wrong with that. Does this seem starting area? I guess everything looks kind of similar in the spirit world. Oh, this is an easy one. Boop. Oh, shoot. Oh, barely made it. How was that for a Spirit Forge speedrun? Any percent. Oh, yeah, another healing potion. Ring of haste. I'm gonna immediately put another flow sigil on that. Yo, did that just give me water walking? Ring of water walking plus two. So I wonder if I upgrade this again, if it gives me haste and water walking, which is how the ferocious strength thing worked. I have another flow sigil. I kind of want to keep one of these in case we get another one of those magic ponds. But if we have a water walking ring, we don't need it. I'm going to YOLO it. I'm so curious. Water walking plus three. That doesn't seem very different. Am I hasted? No. Right? What is the difference between water walking plus two and water walking plus three? Something tells me it's not. Oh my god, I have a lot of spirit pearls. Something tells me it's not that different. 
All right, we're done with the Spirit Forge, mostly. I just want to see what kind of... Uh, what kind of gem is in the Ring of Charisma? What kind of sigil? Fire. You know what's wild? <laughs> Is I feel like I should unlock this ring and get like a plus three charisma ring so I can just like automatically pass like every social fortune test. Should we just speed run this real quick? I feel like we can. What, what, what did we clock in in the last one? Like a couple minutes? Let's just do it real quick. I'm greeting out hard here. I'm not hasted this time, unfortunately. Or am I? Is this how fast I was going before? Maybe I am hasted. I can't even tell. I swear this is the last one, though. I don't think we have any more... <laughs> Abilities we could bestow on the rings. What I really want to do is come back with like a. I want a well made longsword so bad. So we could pop like three sigils into a longsword. That sounds like it would be sweet. Although honestly, enchanting this ri this ring of ferocious strength, I wonder if our strength bonus goes up higher if I put an enchant scroll into it. I don't know if that's how it works though, because it's based on buffs, and I don't know if the buffs are just like what they are. Oh, where's the spirit key? Oh, I have to go through here. Wait. Is this a bug? Oh no, the same portal takes you to a different place. That's cool. I don't think I've seen that before. I disarm that guy. I only have one weapon. Disarm you too and expose. Yo, repost? Strong. I like it. scary. I feel like we were about to take a lot of damage if that I didn't go through at that point. I had two spirit keys from the last world. I think we can just finish here. Now that was a speed run. Mmm. Spirit treasure turned into a flow sigil? Wow. Farming these is really valuable if you can get sigils out of it. That's it for us for now, though.
But that means I can upgrade... No, it's already plus three. The Ring of Water Walking. Okay. Shoot, which ring did I just unlock? I, I want to remove the sigils from the other rings. So I can put them to better use. May as well get a free potion while I'm here. <clears throat> Potion of Excellence. I will say that is excellent. Right, so if I use this on the Ring of Charisma, we now have a Ring of Resist Heat plus two. Well, that's unexpected. Reduced damage received from heat and steam is actually really nice in some of the areas. There are steam traps that are really hard to avoid. Although now we're not good at social tests. And yeah, so these rings just become a magic ring if they have no sigil on them. Or whoever um, was asking that before. I think Marlin had, had asked that, but I think a lot of us were curious about it. Alright, let me grab a root sigil from this one. <clears throat> Or no, these are form sigils. I don't know what form sigils do in the real world. Do they stop being a legacy item if it has no sigils? It does. So it's not the item, it is the property that does that. And I guess it's because the sigils themselves are the legacy items, I guess. All right, I'm gonna pop this form sigil into our ring of shielding. Oh, here's a bug. This didn't update. But it updated in the on the right little display thing. Um, so this just goes into cooldown for five seconds after each use. Was that is that cooldown better than it was before? Was it like ten seconds? I don't remember. All right, well, we, we've got some baller jewelry. I'm trying to update that. All right. Yo. Let's go. Oh, I still have meat. No, fool. Your inventory is only spirit pearls. What did you expect? Hmm. Do I use one of my 12 healing potions to heal? Um, I may as well allow myself to get wounded. Because I have so many bandages. Alright. Well, there is so much we can do in this world now. Does this ruin really not say that there's a spirit forge here? Oh, there it goes. The spirit forge. So, is there only one spirit forge in the whole world, I wonder? And you have to find it? Because that seems like a very valuable point to find on the map. I 
It says the. That might be the only one. Alright, I want to try to get to this ruin now. Yeah, there's a bug where when you enchant the ring, you get the benefit, even though it's not equipped. I have shielding and ferociousness on, but I'm getting heat immunity and water walking. Whoa, that's immunity? It didn't say immunity, did it? Reduce damage. This says immunity. That sounds better. Immune to heat. I'm gonna report this bug because we could abuse the hell out of that if we wanted to. Bounty hunters. Check it out, it's the Wayfarer. The Imperials pay a hefty bounty to anyone that brings you in, dead or alive. I kind of want to fight them just to make a point. Although I'm about to get wounded, we may as well negotiate here. We can attempt first. You pray, hope I negotiate well, Bounty Hunter. Yeah, that's right. Keep walking. Oh, I never seen these guys out in like the open. Always in a cave. In the library, there's some lore about it too, where they say there is only one. Okay. Good to know. I don't, I don't really remember what all that lore was. So you can get lucky and find that right away, or like, it might be in like the last corner of the world. This is a cool looking area. I love the, like, the colors in this game, along with like the art style. Just make some really cool scenery. That's a little messed up. Dude, the ward saves me from that stuff. Awesome. Is this like a uh, water streaming out of the rock? And it's like a little waterfall, that's cool. Oh, this is a node. There's like nothing here. That's fine. I got one more spirit pearl to add to my collection. So we're about to head into Dwif uh, Dwivafleed Wetlands. Challenge level two. The wetlands and swamps in Dwivalid and Dwiv wetlands are teeming with life, almost, although most of it are surely mosquitoes. Getting around can be difficult, and people disappear sometimes, never to be seen again. Oh, and a set of spare dry clothes to sleep in is very nice when camping in a, a dry place. So lots of cold, wilderness, flood, and barrier? You might be unable to pass. I haven't seen that one yet. And I am not kitted out for any of those encounter types, but let's do it anyways. Um, food would be nice. Can I do the food real quick? Sure. Then maybe we could heal. Oh, these are like swamps. Oh, that's a new creature. Oh, is this like poison gas? What is that? I feel like we don't want to touch that. Does this count as water? Dude, I can walk on this. Out of my way. You call that a hazard? 
Whoa, what is underground? You drop meat? Doesn't seem like it. Dude, new new environment. The swamp. Cool stuff. What kind of swamp fruit do we have? Does this swamp normally like slow you down? I'm guessing it's normally not pleasant to walk through. Bunny meat. Wait, did they drop any meat? No. This guide stone seems to keep a keen view on the path. Touching it gives you a clear idea of where you are on the map. We are oriented. I was sleeping, woke up, stream still running. That's how we do it. What's up, Nikolai? We just got some mad upgrades on our rings. We visited a spirit forge where you 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 dive into your item and unlock more more power and ability. I camp anywhere? Oh my god. Hold up. That's not a good place to camp. Dude, I just took more damage trying to camp because of that bubble then I think I got back from the berries yeah I just made camp in a poison cloud apparently all right let's go to the serpent gate These hostile? They seem chill so far. All right. I won't hurt you. You don't hurt me. All right, let's see if we can get through this. Yeah, they were flying. Oh, you need a bow? Interesting. Oh, are they, uh... Is that game? I can fight them for meat? Those looked a lot like the, the uh... The blood cloaks. Which had, like, an artillery bombardment. Except these are green and friendlier. The date here is, like, a lot. <laughs> It seems like it. This uh, this wayfarer has been has been kicking ass so far. I could have just opened this door because I knew it was gonna do that. Uh oh, they're hostile now. 
Wait, how did, how did they get poisoned? Oh, we wrecked them. I, I think they have a poison attack. And one poison the other one. Dude, I'm starting to feel strong. I used to be, like, afraid of everything that moved. I'm sure something will show up soon that's going to make me uh, be punished for my overconfidence. But I'm just impressed by how well our character is doing at this point. That's 142 days of experience right there, actually. So this is a Serpent Gate, which is the, like, fast travel mechanism in the game. Wait, I can put a Flow Sigil? No, that's not going to do anything. You need the Sky Sigils to make them work. So I put a Sky Sigil in there. Clamp it down. Voila. Yeah, the world gen is really cool. Um, and like the world map is really impressive. This is a completely unique world map. And this one is actually way different than all the other ones I've had. This one's actually really flat. Usually there's like other mountains and there's like red mountains and like snow capped mountains. Um, this might actually be a slightly boring world gen, at least from the looks of the overworld map. But it's pretty cool how varied they can be. So I don't think this will lead anywhere yet because it's the only Serpent Gate that I've opened. So I don't think it connects to anything. Let's go in and see. This is a big chest, isn't it? It actually like had an open thing. Normally they just, they're just they like small chests. That's interesting. I wonder if what's inside of those is permanent. So yeah, this is like a closed serpent gate, I think. And this one probably is too. Any fixed regions that are guaranteed, like a few biomes at the beginning and near the goal? I think the last area, the first valley, is always the same. Um, but it seems like they're not guaranteed, but there are so many generated that you normally get like a really good variety. Um, I don't think ha Haven's always there, but it's not always the same region. Because my Haven is in a desert. Uh, no, this is fields. Maybe fields can be like this, but this is a different... This was like all heat hardships. Which seemed different. And then, yeah, the Imperial stuff is always like this color. Dark color. Alright, so it does seem like there's nothing for us to do in here right now. I gotta unlock more Serpent Gates. Another chest here. I wonder if those restock. This looks dangerous. Wait. Can I leave through there? I thought that was activated. Oh, that one is the one I was looking for. Help! Help! Let me use a potion here before I die. I don't know what happens when you die in this... the Serpent Gate world. Yeah, so I was wondering, Marlin, if you could, we could never come back to the Serpent Gate if we died. I don't want to find out. I didn't have my, my parrying weapon out. I was only one-handed there. Hmm. So I wonder if I have no proto-potions. 
because I took them all out if I'll never see another one in here. I'm tempted to like leave one. Although I only have four. But I could be wasting four potions if I put these back and they... And they respawn normally. Um, wish I could put like one. All right, I'm taking them all out. It's greed out. Yeah, definitely Nikolai. It's definitely worth a try. It's a really cool game. Look like how different this place looks now that it's nighttime. Yeah, we know that you drop out, but we were wondering if you can ever enter again, because normally when you get kicked out of a spirit world, that's it. All right. Well, we have the whole world at our disposal. I feel like I should activate the Haven Serpent Gate. And there's like other stuff we can do in Haven. I feel like I need to go back to Haven, which is a long trek right now. But once I get there, I can use the Serpent Gate to come back here. I think I go here, hit up this temple, and then cut up to Haven. You think so, because it's the travel hub? <laughs> yeah, but maybe you just shouldn't die there. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Alright, let's see if we can speedrun to Haven. Get that knowledge. We will. I love how the centipedes eat the rats. I know I say that like every time. Pretty awesome. Is this a node? Oh, there's another flying thing. It is. I kind of just want to leave. Well, there's food here. Oh, I'm full health because I healed in the spirit world. I got slimed? What is this, Nickelodeon? Movement is slowed. How do I leave? There you are. You are turning a little green. Oh no. That is not a good thing to hear in a roguelike. Uh, oh, there's meat. I think these guys did some hunting for us. damage swings. Wait, how do I get over here? I guess we can't cross this river. I guess we'll go up to the trading post. Oh shit, I don't have to lose hope because I'm cold. No, I am mismanaging my hope. Hello, Max. This is the beginning of the end for a wayfarer. Yeah, we don't want to make a habit of it.
This guy has arrows, but no bow. A healing potion, I will take that. I'll actually grab some extra lock picks. I have one. Could I interest you in some spirit pearls? Are you going to Anakirk's land? Take care. The lower parts of that area are very dangerous. You should find a way to reach higher parts of that region. It's much safer up top. Huh. So the actual altitude is important for that region. That's interesting. Where is that? It's got to be one of these mountain places, right? Ah, so we've already pretty much explored all of that, but it's supposed to be safer the higher you are. Legends tell of flame sprites living in large red flowers. They will reward anyone fighting or lighting a fire nearby. These so-called flame flowers. Mm, yep. <laughs> Oh, my meat's spoiled. Another trading post? A farm? I feel like I should check out the trading post, right? Low rock. Cure poison. Another healing potion. I'll take a, another cure poison potion. I'm gonna see if I can trade everything but spirit pearls. Let's see if we can just like have like a million spirit pearls. Probably don't need to min max this, do I? Ah, here we go. You have a deal. Perfect trade. Food is hard to come by in Anersker land, unless you find a way to climb to its higher regions, that is. I got it. Stay up top. Um, I see no reason to camp here. Blow rock, yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, little settlements out here. Ooh, we got the loot and the and the soundtrack. Turnips, flame flowers. All right. Sorry, but you guys are boring. You farmers bore me. I'm going back out for adventure.
Forest Temple. Okay, that's where we couldn't figure out how to do it again, right? Magic Lake. We're going this way. Hunters in the Unknown. My friend. Oh, I don't have a Charisma Ring anymore, do I? I turned into a Ring of Hate Resistance. Wait a minute. I'm an offer they can't refuse. Okay, I don't want your turnip, dude. I might even steal your... Eh, I don't need to steal from you either. I think I got a bad reputation from... fighting people when I meet them in encounters like this. It seemed like that word spread. And I, I don't want to get a reputation for being a, being a bad guy. To be clear, I only fought them because I wanted to camp and they wouldn't let me. They had a choice. So these are still a mystery to me. These big trees always have a little platform next to them. Time to fight the poison spiders. Wait. Here we go. Out of my way. Damn, even our uh, short sword does a ton of damage now. Because of that ring of ferociousness. Neat! Give me that boar meat. How much meat did I just get? One? I thought sometimes when you fought big enemies that you got multiple meats, but maybe not. I keep forgetting that I don't actually have to ex fully explore these areas. Two days, so my meat's gonna spoil if I go over here. I guess I don't really care. Hello, B4141. Where am I? Hazard and shelter? Wait, where's shelter here? It usually means there's like a cave or something, doesn't it? Dude, warded so good. Wait, is that all that it, there is here? This back area just has monsters? I gain presents for that. Oh, this isn't... How do I get back across? You know what? I really regret putting a, a sigil down here because this seems like a worthless point. Why would I ever want to come back down here? I thought it would be like a, a good way to get over here too, but it seems to not be. There's a stream, maybe I can cross here. Okay, this goes up.
Oh yeah, the Spirit Forge is nearby, Marlin. That is definitely uh, reason enough, because that is a very crucial area of the map. Yeah, I feel a lot better about that now. I can't see. I don't even need eyesight to, to whoop you guys. Wait. Where's the rest of the map? Oh, it's over here. I'm fatigued, so the fatigue tokens while climbing makes us lose health because I can't get fatigued twice so a little lazy for me to not clear my fatigue but the thing at the top of this can only be used during the day and one of the penalties is um, the it spends time so I didn't want to like rest and then have to spend like time pass and then not be able to use it still without resting so um, it's still kind of lazy but I guess there was a method to my madness hmm we got excellence and this is gonna make us rest I think we're too tired for a long climb chill by the stone oh, not enough room Is there something that prevents you from camping forever? Well, yes, sort of. So if you rest without a fire, you will lose hope. And if you rest with a fire, you might get attacked. So it's, it's that, I guess. Although if you're like strong enough, you could probably survive like almost infinite attacks. Uh-oh. This level failed to generate properly. Even after trying again, please close this window and submit a bug report by pressing F12. Hopefully we can fix this issue quickly and you can reuse the save on the next update. It looks like I'm fine, though. Actually. It made it sound like I wouldn't be able, like my game was like just done for, but it, this area actually looks normal. You get a good view of the surrounding landscape, but you spot nothing of interest. This is always so, so annoying. You get nothing for coming up here. All right, well, I'll at least get some sky shrubs which I'd never use all right well here's the moment of truth can I leave all right seems like we're good that was weird The way that message was written, it seemed like we weren't going to be able to progress. Maybe sometimes, like, the exit isn't, like, near you, or there's, like, a, a gate or something that can't be, like, finished. Like, like the lever, like, isn't triggered in the right spot or something like that. There's probably, like, a decent chance that you actually can't um, finish those when they generate incorrectly sometimes. But it seems like we're good here, fortunately. It would have been a little sad if we had to quit the stream early because of that. Yeah, it looks like... Because there's those, like, climbing points. It looks like that was spawned a little far away from the actual location where you were supposed to climb down. 
but since you don't actually use that and it's just like a normal um like exit node point thingy it looked like we were just able to use it anyways so we made it through fortunately all right looks like we can cross here Nice, we found it. A serpent gate. It just says. Oh, now it says serpent gate. It said ruin for a second. Alright, what's in our current area? A brook with enemies? Uh, we can probably just skip that. Alright, what, what is this? Rogue Warrior, Clan Progress. I wouldn't mind doing that. I want to do this temple first, though, and then we'll come back around. I'm hitting up this Prey sounds useful, because I don't have any healing items. Well, I have 12 healing potions, which is a lot of healing items, but I wouldn't mind having uh, Perishables to stay topped off of instead of using my... Rare healing items. Oh. Ah, we didn't get any of them. The wolves scared him away. I feel so bad killing those things. They're like such like beautiful life forms. Oh, I guess we need meat. And that's why they exist in the game. <laughs> All right, um, another vantage point. I'm just going to go down this way. And then we can probably roast our pink deer meat here. There's also more food here. Keep for one more day. Alright, I'll preserve the meat. I probably shouldn't be worrying too much about food and meat if we're about to make like a big travel back to Haven, which will take like many days and we are likely to um, like lose all our perishables. But also, I'm about to do a temple, which we might take some damage. We hit so hard now. For a long time, when I first started playing this game, it felt like that power curve was like unreachable. Like, how do you make your character stronger? But we've definitely gotten a lot of powerful items at this point, and I'm feeling like pretty OP. Get out of here. We got some berries. Whoops. That's not a exit. All right. What is here? Locals were attacked at a forest giant in the plain of Azerfield. Encounter dangerous folk or creatures. That doesn't sound like there's anything worthwhile for us, though. Like, no one wants us to, like, is going to give us a reward for fighting them. Eh, we can go. Let's get some vengeance. Serve up some vengeance for the, uh, the locals that were killed here. Just bragging about how OP we were. We should, uh, put our talents to, to good use. I want to like fail this test. We have to fight them. Alright, 
Alright, well. Oh, here we go. Whoa. You got moves. Dude, I disarmed all of his stuff. I disarmed his his big club and then his small clubs. <laughs> and then he was armless or weaponless. The arms would have been next, damn it. Now, does that make me a bad person because I was an interloper? Or is that okay because that guy was killing locals and I couldn't like make him play nice and then he attacked me? These are still a mystery to me. I wonder if there's something you can do to unlock some kind of power in those. Enemies in cold. Alright, we can do this. Let's get to this Roth temple. Rats, you call these enemies? I had room for firewood. No, that just was consumed. I don't know where that went. Whoa, is there a, a wolf hiding in the trees? Yo, mama wolf was hiding. Wolf tactics. Setting up the ambush. U using using the the your baby wolf as like a decoy setting up the trap i respect it and i want to go down here and uh and liberate this land that could probably be a challenge for us i've never done that before we really need to go to haven Maybe we zip up here and then zip back down and do some stuff over here. All right. Well, let's do this first. There's like so many options you can do in here. I love the open-endedness of like the quests in the world. I want to do it all. Okay, these weird puzzles again. I'm just going to start invoking these things instead of doing the test. This one is surely warding off magic. So I can use this safely. We have bandits. To be expected. It seems like every Roth temple is inhabited by bandits. Talk to your leader. Press passing, yada yada. Who is this? Wait, I just did this. Are there two pairs of bandit squads in here? Our home, our rules. Wait, who's home and whose rules? I think there's two separate um, <laughs> like bandit clans in here. Ooh, a shade. I haven't seen one of those since the the Garden of Yendor, like the prologue. Is 
Just the meditation thing. Mm. Nope, just another area. Oops. Those random bandits don't seem too concerned. I'll let them fight the skulls this time. Wonder if that'll make them hostile. Maybe getting cocky, but I feel like I could take a whole bandit camp if I needed to. I feel unstoppable, guys. Dude, this little puzzle, we've seen it a few times. It's always so weird. It's lever to pick up a key to open a chest that has a different key in it. Like, why don't you just give us the first key? Ooh, are we not very perceptive? I know there's more traps. Oh, uh, maybe not. It was just the one. I have to hit all of them? I don't know if I've seen that variation before. The broken gate. <laughs> These guys are still just chilling with the flaming skulls. They add like a little bit of like a, a candlelit ambiance. Whoa, ring of protection plus one. Hello. That's a nice find from a small chest. It's got another form uh, sigil in it. We found the entrance to the temple. Is this just really an empty area? I guess so. All right, another rock temple. Kill some centipedes. And some bats. a key. Let's see if we can actually solve this, because these the last one actually told me a good secret. And it gets a lo location of the Roth Temple and the plane of Arz Arzafeld. And is that this one? Yeah. Damn it, the last... <laughs> so every Roth temple except for the last one, the the thing right inside of it that you can decipher told me the location of the temple I was standing in, which is pretty disappointing to like spend resources to pass that test. The last one didn't do that, though, so it threw me off. And now, So I was like, okay, maybe that doesn't always happen, but this one apparently does again. Like, now I don't know if I should ever try to pass those tests or not. 
I have so much spark at this point. Like, currently at least. I don't think I really mind, but... What is this trap? I haven't seen that before. the red gate. Mind if I do? Huh. So, swinging my primary sword puts me on cooldown. But if I swing my small sword, I can do my big sword like immediately afterwards. It seems a lot better. I wonder if I had two sh normal swords, if I could just like swing perpetually. Because our cooldown's so much shorter. They do 11 damage versus 17 on the power attack, but 8 versus 10 on the normal attacks. And if I could just like use normal attacks constantly, that's got some value to it. And I might be able to do more uh, repost. Just because I wouldn't be parrying with the offhand and attacking with the, the primary all the time. Something to think about. Also, I have a feeling where it's gonna be unlikely that we find a magic longsword in particular. So if we could get like two like magic swords, that would definitely be a, a cool build. Also, we're kind of cheating with a longsword, I think. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a single-handed weapon. Or uh, I'm sorry, a two-handed weapon. Dude, everything does zero damage to us. And that's not just because it's warded. I think the ring is still giving us minus one damage. In addition to our warrior armor. I'm tempted to enchant the warrior armor and see if we get more damage reduction through that. I haven't found a key yet, have I? Far's large key. No traps. So this probably has the large key. Which opens this, which will give us like what, the silver key? Oh no, this gives us a figurine. Okay. Does this take the large key as well? Or a small key. Have we missed a key? I feel like I fully explored this temple. What is this? Oh, this is going to tell me the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. The inscription tells you the location of the temple that you are currently standing in. Like a directory in a mall or something. You are currently here. 
All right, what am I missing here? Um, I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna pick the lock. If we fail this, do we just like lose this quest permanently? Let's not fail. I'm gonna pay more spark to get plus three positive tokens in here. Otherwise, this gives us only one positive token. So there'll be six total tokens with two bad outcomes and four good ones. But if I use a reroll, it adds another bad one. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Two thirds chance. And it only gets like better. Yep. Now we just made it a lot worse. Okay, I'm gonna keep rolling. I kind of like the flexibility in those. I'm enjoying the fortune test. Carving, jewelry. Here's here's the big daddy chest. What's in here? I knew there was going to be a, one of these tomes. I don't know where I'm going to drop for that. Another enchantment scroll. Another ring of haste. Or if I can get a plus four ring of haste. Hmm. Or the other one's water walking. I wonder if. If I combine haste and like another sigil, if I'll get like faster haste and not have it transform into water walking. Yeesh, what do I drop for this tome? The attack root worth dropping? I haven't used the bedroll in a long time. I feel like with the right magic staff, and I don't know if we have the correct one right now, we won't need an attack root. But for now, I kind of like having the utility of an attack root. I'm going to ditch the bedroll. It's kind of awkward, but I haven't been using it. You sit down and take a deep breath. You focus your attention on the broken wing and open your mind to the guidance of Roth. To gain the entrance to the fundamental forge, you must, or you need to strike three wind gongs in the first valley. One of them is located in a ruin. Oh. So we completed this quest but this first one was done, like, erroneously. It checked it off, even though I didn't have the broken wing at the time. I think I need to go back here to learn where the third wind gong is. And that temple... Is here. That's pretty much where we're going, so maybe we'll stop in there real quick so we can meditate. And then we'll be done with this temple quest, and we can move on to any of the other major quests. You like how the developer used his language as the fantasy language of the world? How so? Like, which words... I'm not super familiar with the 
the Dutch language, so I might be missing out on uh, some of the subtlety of that. Also, welcome, Smog. How you doing? I feel like I should... Well, I don't want to murder the bandits. I was going to say just in case anyone asks me to murder them, like, after I leave. Roth means raven. Oh! And, uh... That's like a bird god too, right? Or like they kind of look like one? Yeah, that makes sense. All right, now we want to go back to Haven, but I want to stop by here. It's on this river, which is actually a real pain to cross. Oh well. I'll approach it from the left side, and there will be a way to get across it, but I remember it's, it's pretty annoying trying to go past river sometimes. Oh shoot, I'm cold. Well, it's a good thing I'm in, going into a desert. We could get wet here. I'm going to try and get rid of this cold. And some mountain names have Bergen in them, which again means mountains. Oh. Yeah, I could see a lot of those words being, like, part of, like, these names. Which, these all sound... They're definitely not English or, like, Latin. <laughs> um, like, like, root, like, syllables and stuff. These turnips are probably going to... Perish, I may as well use them. Go ahead and patch up my sturdy boots while I'm here. Uh oh. Oh shoot. The Imperium! I haven't seen these guys in forever. I'm excited. I want to test our metal. Hold it right there, citizen. We are looking for somebody called the Wayfarer. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that person, would you? These Imperials look like they mean business. Best keep quiet about who you really are. Well, they really ought to know you're not alone. You have at least 50 mates waiting just around the corner, so they should know that what they're getting themselves into if they hurt even one hair on your head. Well, maybe not 50 mates, but 10. But still, the odds are definitely stacked against them. There's a, a typo. Let me mark that. You guys better hope that I draw a success here. All right, let's fight the Imperium. You don't seriously expect me to fall for that little act of yours now, do you? Hold on, hold on. There is a remarkable resemblance between you and this Wayfarer person. Let me get a closer look. Form up. Oh, I'm out of charges on my staff. What weapon am I pairing with first? That one. Dude, his weapon went on cooldown for a long time. I wonder if that's because I hit it with a big weapon. I was able to attack him twice while his weapon was on cooldown. Fifty mates. That seems like an appropriate um, term for that. Mates feels like more of a dialect, where if you're like a brigand would use, which seems to be like the role that you're playing in there as like this evil wayfarer, from their perspective at least.
Nice, I just got my staff charges back. So that staff is shooting one fireball and then some poison spikes. Is what it seemed to be doing. Ooh. This is a scrying device. Oh, come on. I should use a reroll on that last one, actually. Oh, I've been to this one. It's already fixed up. You cannot sense any magic within the device's range. Hopefully that's because I collected all the magic already. Am I about to lose two hit points because I didn't rest? Oh, we're good. We good. Alright, I need to get rid of this fatigue status, though. Ambushed by wolves. Um... Try the brook, I guess. Visible and hunted, that's fine. It'd be interesting if water walking let you bypass rivers on your nodes. Which I'm assuming it doesn't do on the the overworld map, but that would be cool. Is that a ghoul? Repost. Go my way, ghoul. Oh, wait. Wait, can I only go to the bridge? No, I think I think we're bugged right now. Some of these bridges act goofy, because I think you're only able to... You're supposed to have to cross them to get to certain nodes, because they're like a bridge. But I don't know if they always behave like that. I might just not understand how they're supposed to work. I get to this. So there's a bug where sometimes the nodes aren't like shown connecting things. And I think if you travel to a disconnected node, you can like become permanently stuck there. I think I have to assume that I can go here, but the, the path is blocked my, by my dude. Oh wait, I finally lost my water walking blessing. That's interesting. I didn't actually have to stop here. Here we go. We are now connected. Let's do this quest. After this encounter. Wait. Where's my water walking? Oh, fish. Hold up. Water walking feels so good in this game.
All right, Rogue Warrior. Day 169. I might need my, ro my Ring of Ferociousness for this one. Bozer, Zwardmeester. I am also a Zwardmeester, actually. You seem like someone who has been a, in a fight or two. You think, you probably think you're good with a weapon. Well, think again. I, Bozer, inheritor of the legacy of Swordmaster El Haz, will show you true weapon prowess. Come, fight me. Damn, dude, I want to fight. Yes, a worthy opponent. Finally, a duel until one of us is wounded. What is this tactic, sir? <laughs> Stop! I yield no more! You are now the champion of Fields of Yelling. Here, take this. I am no longer worthy to study his ancient texts. Wait, no fair. Why are you still attacking me? <laughs> okay, he turned yellow. I think he's good now. <laughs> what a wimp. Yeah, I yield, psych. He, like, he put the, the book in my hands, and then he attacked me when I had no weapon out to parry with. That was Bozer. El Haas Avocado is the swordmaster that he learned it from. The Treatise Quintat. This text is written by the teacher El Haas, a mystic and accomplished sword fighter. They analyze accounts from the Crimson Crusade and proposes a novel view on current martial traditions, the Quintat. It's a comprehensive system for fighting with a long blade based on the five elements with the emphasis on form. Five elements. Those are five sigils. I thought we counted a six, though. Giving this item to a clan will improve relations and unlocks the background Zwordmeister. So this is how I unlock Swordmaster. It sounds like that's not supposed to carry on between worlds. So I somehow, it was a bug that I was able to start as a Swordmaster on this world. But I kind of like being able to start with more variety. A lot of people on the, the Discord this week were talk, throwing out like ideas, like maybe giving like random starts so that you could still unlock classes that are like stronger. And you can like strategically like do a quest that unlocks a better Wayfarer class for your next Wayfarers to make you do better in the future. But also like not have have to be stuck with the same start all the time. Us means that bigger rabbit like animal that likes to run, so it would have been fitting name. Oh, cool. Like a hare? Or a jackrabbit? So I can give this to any clan. Is this the one with the berries? I think it is. Or no, fruit is what it wants you to drop. I don't have any fruit. Pretty sure I've been here before. That was the, f the best sword fight. He's like, I'll beat anyone. And we hit him once and he's like, stop, I yield. Can't handle your prowess. On 
I don't wonder what uh, clan we should give that book to. Probably Daroni. I think we might have the best relation with them. Resource? I don't really care to explore this, to be honest. So here's another Serpent Gate, I think. No, up here it is. But we only have one more Sky Sigil, and we want to use it on our, our primary Serpent Gate. I'm going to go this way. And I may as well rest since I'm cold now. You have performed a deed that confirms you are valorous. As a result, you can learn a new skill or gain a benefit. Reach. Increase the reach with specific weapons. Health. Increase your max health um, with six hit points. Yo, reach sounds cool, but with which weapons? Like, this will be kind of pointless if it doesn't increase our reach with swords. I'm going to take it, though. I see a sword blade in there. Is this longer reach? It looks like that white symbol is a little further out than the, the weapon actually is. I think it might be applying. I don't know what it looked like before, though. But it could be full of crap. Scavenging birds. Kind of curious what that indicates. I'm going to take a quick look. Didn't really seem to indicate anything. Anything that I would associate with birds, at least. I couldn't tell if that node to the north was connected, so I didn't take it. Did the seasons change? This used to only be heat hardships, and now it's only cold hardships. is really interesting. I thought I was in a desert, but I guess it's a field and it was just like summer. That is really interesting if the game keeps track of seasons. Or maybe I just happen to be traveling at night and it has something to do with day versus night. Wow, Haven, what a journey. Cool. Secret tunnel? I think I've already... This guy's already told me about this tunnel multiple times. Hey, Tinny, what's going on? Alright, first a secret tunnel location that I may or may not have already had. You're probably going to grab it yourself once it's a bit more polished. Yeah, the game will only get better.
I'm enjoying it now. It has some rough edges, as is to be expected from any early access game, but the core game is already there, and a lot of it is like feels so good already. Um, but it'll only get better, so um, I do not blame anyone for wanting to wait, or or if they're not like they don't find like the the issues that it does have appealing. All right, we got a uh, two serpent gates connected now. So this is the south gate, I guess, because the it's like a spirit moving south or something, and this is the west one. It's gonna be. It almost looks like the arrow should be the skinny part of that. Waiting till it comes out the Epic store. Yeah, a lot of people um, like boycott Epic, so they would not be playing it either. Oh, this guy might have something different to say now. Hello again. I trust you have returned to this fully operational Serpent Gate in good health and spirit. You're not going to say thanks for repairing it? Okay, dude. Pretty odious in respect to Linux stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's no good. I should read this guy, because we're getting closer to the, the main quest. Take the Staff of Yendor to the Prime Elemental Forge. To destroy the Staff, you must take it to the Prime Elemental Forge in the First Valley. One does not simply walk into the first valley. Mm, he doesn't have much else to say. Something interesting that I learned about the Epic Game Store recently is that they only take a 10% cut, I think, from uh, game sales. While it's pretty standard for most stores to take like 30%. I'm pretty sure. I've never sold a game, but I thought that was pretty interesting and pretty cool for developers. And some some developers have made out really well with their exclusive deals, as much as players don't like those. Um, let's see, what does this guy have to tell us? All right, so I dumped a bunch of items into this chest. Oh, this is my inventory. I'm going to take all these out because I'm pretty sure you don't lose legacy items when, when you die. I think they automatically go into this chest. So I'm going to keep these out so I can take advantage of them on the fly. It would really suck if I was wrong about that, though. Very subtle that's Lord of the Ring influence. <laughs> yeah. Did I catch any E3? I didn't watch anything. Um, I listened to the Waypoint podcast recap, and it seemed like there was a lot of games to keep track of. Wait, where'd I get this attack route? I'm gonna put some money in here. I'm gonna pop like two bandages in here. Maybe two coins, which seem to be worth a lot. And then like a bunch of jewelry for the next Wayfarer. Done.
Yeah, but it seemed like there was a lot of like random announcements, or not random, but just different announcements at E3. It's almost like hard to keep track of everything. I guess like the big ones that people are paying attention to are like the the FromSoft stuff, like the Xbox show, and um, like the Nintendo stuff. Um, all right, I want to play around with this forge. So what happens if I put this staff in here? Yo, there's three things now. Oh my God, it has five slots. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna take a quick break here, and then we are gonna play with uh, play with this forge. If anyone has any combinations they want to try out, let me know, and I'll be back in like two minutes. Uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> 